So I ran up behind him with a hatchet. Smash, smash, smash. And with those words, Caleb McGilvery went from being homeless to an unlikely celebrity. The 24-year-old became an internet sensation last February. That's after he intervened in an attack on a California utility worker. And watch this, bam, and he smashed into this guy right there, pinned him in between that truck. McGilvery was on the local news, describing how he used a hatchet to fend off the attacker. He quickly became known as Kai, the hatchet-wielding hitchhiker. But all that changed on Thursday. This is a guy whose picture's been all over, so apparently it wasn't... Uh you know, difficult to uh, recognize him um, as a person wanted up in uh, New Jersey. Inside this quiet suburban home, police discovered the body of a 73-year-old lawyer. He was beaten to death in his bedroom, wearing only his socks and underwear. Kai the hitchhiker went from savior to suspect. And within hours, an employee inside a Starbucks recognized him and quickly called 911. By the time police arrived, he was not there. Officers began to look in the immediate area. One officer went to the, took a chance and went to the Greyhound bus station, saw him in the waiting area, called for backup, and uh, made an arrest. Authorities say McGilvery met the lawyer, who's nearly three times his age, in Times Square over the weekend, and both headed back to his home. What do I make of this? Absolutely absurd. People in this suburban town uh, generally feel rather comfortable and safe. On his Facebook page, McGilvery posted on Tuesday, quote, What would you do if you awoke in a stranger's house and found you'd been drugged and sexually assaulted? Uh, if he were assaulted, uh, he certainly should have gone to the police. Uh, I don't think the normal reaction would be, well, I'm going to cut my hair and I'm going to run from the police. And that's exactly what he did. So McGilvery is being held on $3 million smash, bail. Smash, smash. The internet sensation now a suspect in a sensational case. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.